Now we're almost at uh, the formal definition stage of our, our limit. We're almost there. So once again, let me recap here. What I've done is rewritten the slope formula. Slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or in other words, rise over run. Okay, delta x means the change of x, which means the run, the horizontal change. And uh, the rise is the vertical change. So that's the difference between the function at x and the function at some place a certain way away from x. In this case, it's delta x away from, some distance away from x. So this is one point. This is another point that's some distance away. And so uh, what I have here is rise over run. That's, that's what I have. And it's just rewritten in some more complicated formats. And the goal for a tangent line is to find the slope as those points get closer and closer and closer together. Because remember, if the two points are far away, they're, not, they're usually not a good approximation of the actual slope of the tangent line. The closer they get, the better they get at approximating the tangent line. And if we could get them super, super close, but they still couldn't touch, then we could get a really good approximation. And so what we're doing is this idea of a limit. It's the limit as delta x, the change between the two points, the change between the two x values gets goes towards zero. Now they can't be zero because if they if it is zero, if they're at the same point, I can't find the tangent. I mean, I can't find the slope between two points that are the same. I have, they have to be different. So that's why it's a limit. Because remember, a limit isn't what it is, which we can't do. We can't do that right now. But what it's becoming? It's coming closer and closer and closer and closer together. Okay, so we're going to use this to plug this in. This is a simple example. The ones we're going to be doing in class are a little, a little bit more complicated. Um, and in fact, the reason I chose this one is because I only have this much space. And so these problems will take a while. We won't do a ton of them, but we'll do enough to get the idea of what a, lim a, a derivative is. Okay, it's the slope of the tangent line. And this is the formal definition. Okay, so I'm just going to use the formula. I'm going to plug this into the formula. But instead of f of x, I have g of x. It's a different name of the function. Not a big deal. So I'm going to plug it in. 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. If I plug it in, I'll get uh, f of x plus delta x. Instead of 3x plus 1, I'm going to place in the place of x. In the place of x, I'm going to place x plus delta x. So 3 x plus delta x. Okay, this is standard function notation where I replace what is x here with a thing inside the parentheses. Okay, so that's all I've done. Minus f of x, which in this case again is g of x, so just minus the function, but I need to be careful. I need to be really careful because this function is 3x plus 1, so I need to subtract everything, not just 3x. It's not minus 3x plus 1, it's minus 3x minus 1 because I subtract the whole function, not just part of it, all over delta x. And we need to remember, always remember, that this is a limit. So the limit as delta x goes to 0. I need to write that. Okay. Uh, moving on to my next step, I'm going to distribute the 3 here. I'm going to get 3x plus 3 delta x plus 1 minus 3x minus 1. I haven't simplified the top yet. All over delta x. So now I'm going to do a lot of canceling. Again, this is the limit as delta x goes to 0. And once again, on this limit, I can't plug in delta x equals 0 because I'll be dividing by delta x. I can't uh, divide by 0, so I can't do that. But I can cancel some things here. Here I have 3x. There I have minus 3x. So 3x minus 3x. Those cancel. Plus 1 minus 1. Those cancel. And now all I have left on the top, you can see, is this 3x, 3 delta x. And all I have left on the bottom is delta x. So 3 delta x divided by delta x is just 3. Is just 3. So my derivative or my slope here of the tangent line is 3. Now this is true everywhere because 3 is just a number. On the ones that we'll be doing, we'll get an equation. We'll get the slope of the tangent line equals 2x squared. 
or the slope of the tangent line equals the square root of x plus 1. We'll get some sort of equation, and, uh, and those things we'll be using to find the slope of the tangent line anywhere on that, uh, on that uh, entire function.